Oh, hello friends. Uh, I decided to include a little video here so you can see why I'm called Warlord Tarzan. Obviously, right? Because of these and these, yeah. I don't always dress like a douchebag, but, uh, you know, let's get back from the gym. It's a little bit later at night. So this is what we're doing. And uh, this mission we're running, um, we're going to go beat up some mining company. And I've got a couple of archers. Oh, yeah, a couple of hero archers. I got that hero, Victor. We like to call Buckshot Bill with those two LB-10Xs. And I'm running this really stupid uh, flamer, just pure short-range build with his hunchback. All flamers and two medium knuckles for maximum uh, front lining. And we're going to see how it goes. So, good luck. I think this is where we face off against Homer's hooligans. Attention. They're not going to like us. Especially when I burn them alive. Ew. Reactor online. Sensors are online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Commence the violence. have retreated to their on-site offices at their primary site. They fortified the position with the help of a... Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. They all need to fire at once. Otherwise, what's the point? Or maybe we could do half on one side. And then the other half on this side. Right? That'll be our weapon group. Although I don't know why I would ever use those, but hey, whatever. That's what we're doing. Outfit that goes by the name Homer's Hooligans. Since I'm able to see anything like this, so we're going to go into the uh, and artillery forces huh. and show no signs of backing down. Commander, yes. you are tasked with assisting the Merrick militia in exterminating the Hooligans, fortifying the dig site. Once they are neutralized, they burn alive. Have no choice but to surrender to the militia. Now what's cool about this mission is there are some kind of like unique variants here. Um, not ones you won't find anywhere, but they are definitely uncommon. Top of my head, I think there is a wolfhound that has an auto cannon or something, and a fire starter with a large laser, and the enforcer that has two. Oh, look at mirror match. Here we go. Except for uh, I don't need lasers. I'll just light on fire. Huh. I don't know how that was a headshot. This entire torso was lit on fire. All right. Litten, lighted, whatever. And I had a maximum range, so I can actually get get the fire out, you know, at a decent amount of distance. Oh, the three C rifleman. One of my favorites. Except for when it's shooting auto cannons at me. That's not my favorite. First fire AC tens. You know what solves that problem real quick though? Getting lit on fire. Yeah, see you never bro. So we got nine flamers doing three and a half damage per, I don't know, second. Whatever the cooldown is on that. It's oh, a lot. So up close, you really just brutalize everybody. It's glorious. Target acquired. Hmm. Artillery, unacceptable. Trying to give me PTSD in real life. No. You'll all burn. Target acquired. Copy. Last target identified. Oh, that's the 5P enforcer. That crybaby pilot was piloting. With the two ballistic hard points, which is cool. 
New target, spider. Target acquired. Get destroyed by my boys. Commander's target group. What are you doing over here? Get in there. Don't follow me. Get in a battle. I just came up pretty good rid of artillery. Now let's go in and kill. Oh, just kidding. Wolfham doesn't have an auto cannon. I might be mistaken about that, but I think there was a Wolfhound variant with an auto cannon or something. Maybe not. That might have been when I was smoking crack with Hunter Biden. Shifting to your target, Commander. Enemy destroyed. Targeting info Oh no. My boy is getting shot up. Hey, you like me on fire? No, I don't think so. Spider. Like how how are you guys letting these people live? Oh yeah, there's the enforcer. I want your body. I'm gonna salvage you. Take your soul. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Two Ultra AZ 5s. Cool. Although it has like no armor when you run both Ultras, so it's better just to go with AZ 5 burst fire. A little extra ammo. You know. Like when he's loaded into a, a battle like this, where there's like 25 other mechs, I guess you don't need that much ammo, but if you're gonna run it in your lance, there's only four of you. For an, every, for an entire mission, and yeah, you kind of need to get some ammo. Oh yeah, the crab. The 27B. Not the SL, which is the best version, but close enough. No, guys, you're, you're having a hard time doing much. Why don't we just kill that guy and don't worry about anybody else? Oh, there's my Firestarter K variant. Now, get the, rid of this guy's legs. There we go. Now let's kill that Marauder. I'm gonna go over here so he can't shoot me. That's what we call using cover. Hey, I don't like you. Become incinerated. Oh, he's dead. That's just a plain old locust running around. Imagine being that guy. Like about to go to this battle. They're like, ah, yeah, the only mech we got laying around is this locust, so. Good luck. Yeah, that hunchback uh, does have nine flamers on it. Don't get close to him. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, send me more victims. We're about to fill up the burn unit. Oh! Gotta micromanage these boys. Yeah, just, just come up here, guys. Don't try to shoot the battle master from distance. Just come up and put the hurt on him like you're supposed to. Okay? And I will overheat him so that he can't do a thing. Hello, battle master. How do you like being able to shoot your weapons? Now you can't. Oh, there's another one of those freaking 10P variant Panthers. That'd be. I didn't realize they had that in this. If I can pick that up, that'd be awesome. I would love to have a full lance of the Panther 10P. So cool. I'm showing no more hooligan IFF readings in the area. Good work, Commander. Merrick Militia, prepare infantry forces to search and secure on-site facilities. Death from above. is still being belligerent and has yet to ah! We'll see how brave they are Broke when we pull out of their Game over. gunpoint. Yeah, now we're talking. That flamethrower point. That's how the game... Oh! That's how the game is played. A little close. The camera's a little close, isn't it? No, it's fine. It's fine right there. Yes. We got some other stuff to add to the warlordiness.
course they're real. No, oh, that's crap. Crap salvage, man. I really wanted that panther. You whores. Oh well, take the fire starter. And... J? Yeah, that bums me out. I really wanted that, that panther. It's like super rare. Oh, double heat sinks. I only have 230, 225 of them. I need some more, though. So, maybe I will not take... No, I'll take the hunchback. I don't care. We good. Oh, we got ourselves an auto cannon, some Gauss rifles. We beat up some, some corporate scumbags. Hey, life is good, right? If we didn't get the mech that we wanted. Uh, anyway. Um, that was... That was just a fun mission, wasn't it? <laughs> but we have a, uh, a contract. One of the uh, Cantina mission contracts out for two of the Hunchbacks. So I'm going to go ahead and leave him behind. As much fun as it was lighting people on fire time for him to go home. Goodbye, Mr. Hunchback. You will be remembered. I'm excited to pick this out. Oh, yes. The Yanshi Kacho number two. What is it called? I don't know. He's like he's like some hard case guy. Had a cool mech. But the, variant, the first variant was like all it had was an AC-20 and two medium lasers. I was like, okay, that's a terrible hero mech. But this has a claw. Yeah. So I made it awesome. It's about to be amazing. How much time do we have on that? Speaking of which, whoops. Sometimes I'm hard hoarded. Alright. Timeline, that's what I want to know. Oh, 29 days. Okay. Actually, 29 is not too long. Oh, another hero mech? You know. I love them hero mechs. I want to collect them all, except for the terrible ones. There's some real terrible ones. Basically all the griffins, both of the dragons, the flame and the fang, are terrible. They're just like, hey, it's a regular old dragon. But we said it's a hero. Yeah, this hero catapult. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. The personal battle mech of Jenny Templeton of the Charleston... What? Chesterton Reserves. Butterbee. Okay. Mounted Squad... Uh, sorry, Mounted Quad 6... It's a little bit late. Mounted 6 Quad SRMs. Quad SRM6s. Instead of the pair of LRM launchers. Uh, okay, you got my attention. Uh, during intense urban combat, the catapult would be regarded as primarily long-ranged mech effective against armed or medium lasers. Uh, after a few hit-and-jump attacks with the lasers, Templeton would unleash the missiles, catching the invaders off guard. The missiles would spread out often, hit the holes that her lasers had left. <laughs> if they survived the missile blasts, enemies were usually killed off uh, while still in shock. Well, I can appreciate that. Kind of cool. But 65 tons, 320 armor, four medium lasers, four SRM sixes. It's kind of like I already have the Ashen Court, but then that makes me think: Why don't I put these guys all together and just have a gay old time, being gay? Let's do it. Oh, look, I got a hole for you. Um. Do I have enough money? Uh, I think I do. Cause I'm rich! Rich from murder and plunder. And stealing. And killing. Sometimes innocent civilians. Presumably. I don't know. That's what Rihanna tries to tell me. Alright, let's look at this thing. <laughs> Single heat sinks. Okay, get out of my sight, first off. Here's a little trick with the jump jets, okay? Look, those three 
whole tons of jump jet only added 18 lift so you just leave one in there to give yourself enough to like you know jump over a little bit of terrain mostly to get down uh, in places where you'd normally have fall damage uh, it's a little helpful for that uh, otherwise it's just super pointless so kind of cool though let's max out the armor first not the head armor because remember catapult heads are kind of hard to hit we'll drop the leg armor by 10 even though it's kind of got some big legs maybe even more yeah that's 11 all right let's drop this mid armor to about 12 because I don't want to get shot in the back because I'm not I'm not a coward so that's just not going to be a possibility. Perfect. Drop this down to 12 as well. Max it out. 12's the golden number, if you didn't know, for armor on the rear torso of any mech. All right, two double heat sinks. We're going to add a bunch of LRM, well, SRMs. Sixes, I think. Hmm. Oh, it'd be cool if we could throw those Artemis in there, but that's probably too much weight. Let's just see. Get one on each side. Oh, we're good. There's plenty. Plenty. Four as... Oh, I only have three. Hmm. Well, that's not going to be as cool. I have one more, but... Ah, oh, they'd be different. I can't. I can't handle asymmetry. Things must be symmetrical. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Very cool. And now. We're going to go ahead and add a bunch of medium lasers, or maybe small lasers? I don't know. Because if we're going to be in close, shooting SRMs all over the place, medium lasers are going to take up heat. And short bursts are kind of whatever. They still take up enough heat when combined. So what if we did... Small lasers. No. I changed my mind. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go with the medium lasers. Right? And look, we still have room for double heat sink. And... Uh, uh, I don't know, though. Three double heat sinks. <laughs> with that many SRMs. It's not going to be ideal so we will switch back to small lasers now small lasers are actually pretty cool and they will do the job um, and they have a super high rate of fire so if you're up close they'll still mess you up mess you up good uh, let's put the ammo in the legs I don't know why I left it in the torso probably because it's late and I haven't thought through lots of things. Least of which, my life choices. Alright. Whoops. And we've got f five double heat sinks, which is uh, not ideal. Once again, it's enough though. It'll work. Just gotta be slow and careful about how we fire. Uh, let's go ahead and add a half ton. Of Artemis. Whoops. No, I want half. I had to look through my own face there to see it. That looks good. Looks pretty good. SRM. We've got a little more Artemis than we do SRM ammo, but once again, that's okay because uh, the Artemis is way cooler. It does a little bit more damage, but more importantly, it's just a nice straight line. The missiles all stay on target pretty good way to go. So if I run out of ammo with the other two, we'll see what happens. 
All right, cue that up, and for some upgrades, we're going to add uh, weapon damage, <laughs> missile range, and velocity. Missile damage. You know what we're going to do? Actually, we're going to do weapon range and velocity because that extra range on our small lasers is going to be useful. Maybe. We can always switch it up. It's not a big deal. All right. Missile, missile, weapon. Yeah, we got a lot of damage there. So Sassaros going to be doing like 25. 25 per volley. It's pretty sweet. Uh, let's do a little heat capacity. Right? No, no, no. Dissipation. That's the one that gives you... Here we go. Faster cooling. So that adds... Uh, adds almost like one heat sink in there. I don't know if that's going to be useful or not. Maybe we'll come back to that. Definitely want the top speed. you got to be able to move. And... At that... We've got weapon range. Yeah, it's not worth the armor. Ballistic range. Yeah, uh, we don't have any ballistics. If we add additional missile range and velocity. 17.5%. <laughs> Why not? Let's see what happens. It's only 3 million. Only a cool 3 million sea bills. Good thing I made of sea bills right now. That was a cool paint scheme, too. Look at that. If I had the miniature, this is exactly how I'd paint it. Man, I was painting miniatures back in the 90s. What a great game. Well, let's go find a mission to get into. And then, uh, yeah, we'll dick around with that. See you in a bit.